If you were to advise anybody who's going to make a big transformation in a large organization, I mean, what would you, how would you, what, what would be the pointers? What would you say to that person? Yeah. Well, you know, I was asked the other day on, on, on leadership, what tips do I have for, for leaders? Well, you must and be no illusion that, you know, you're going to transform this by coming in there and setting a set objectives. No, it doesn't work. Okay? There's an incredible amount of work and thinking that you actually have to push this business. Mm. Because change by definition, you, you're going to get people to do things different tomorrow than what they were doing yesterday. Mm. Um, and that is not a, not a very natural phenomenon. And that takes um, courage from yourself, perseverance, and the acceptance of failure and the acceptance that you must learn out of that failure. Eh? So mm. you must accept that you're going to fail. And then you must accept that failure is not necessarily a failure in itself. It's only a failure if you don't learn from it. And you learn and adjust that you're going to be faced with this. Eh? Um, and because you're pushing to move to a different state, future state, um, you'll be going against everything that's around you. Mm. And to, to manage that, you have to be resilient, passionate, and in it uh, for the long run. Now, you can only do that, let's go, with that energy. You can only keep your energy at those levels if, if your fundamental inner being and your intent um, is, is a lot deeper. It, it cannot be shallow. It's got to be a lot deeper, and you've got to have some, some sort of value system mm. um, aligned to bettering the society or bettering the company and therefore bettering society. So I think that is... First of all, if you want to effect rapid transformation, you need to really come to an understanding of why you're doing it mm. um, uh, and get to that root cause and then say, is, is this what you want to do? Is this your passion? Because mm. if you can't answer that, eh, mm. um, what's inside you, mm. you will never be able to do it externally. Mm. I mean, do it by force, I suppose. But mm. so, so once you sorted that out, then things start becoming aligned. When your own intent is right, That'll trigger your passion and your energy. Mm. Um, and then after that, I mean, then you start recognizing how you're going to do it. So, so first of all, there's, you can ignore the fact that you should be a leader and reckon you're going to do this all on your own. Well, if you've got a 42,000 business, you, you're going to struggle. Um, you cannot do it all alone. Mm. It's impossible. You, you cannot even coordinate it. Mm. It's impossible. You, you probably can't even construct a master plan to move it in this direction. You have to somehow get individual elements and that being the individual members in the team to, to get aligned with us from, from within themselves and align this and start pushing in the same direction you. And then you get a lot more assistance and support from this and it sort of self perpetuates and starts leading. But I do always, when I sit on these motions, I envisage an end state. Um, I try and put that end state to everyone in my team. And that end state never starts with it, where the business will be. It starts with what you would like out of it. You'd like the future for your children. You'd like security for your family. Mm. Um, you'd like to have an enjoyable job where you're not threatened all the time. Mm. You're actually at peace and giving something that you're passionate about. Mm. And that is the sketch. That is what a leader must do. Sketch that in the minds of the people. Make them clarify. Everyone wants that. Mm. But few people actually articulate it quite clearly because once you've articulated that in the minds of everyone, and everyone has a slightly different picture of, of how they articulated this, but, you know, once they've articulated that, now you can see, okay, but you know you need to have a job for this. You know you need to be successful. You know you need mm. colleagues for this. You know you need peers for this. You know you need a system for this. Mm. And then you start articulating and you link um, – you link the, the actions and the, the specific business objectives to that bigger vision of themselves. So the bigger vision can never be a successful company in mm. itself or uh, no. tons or profit. No. It's got to be the people, your family, what, what you'd like. And then you link on, but you're not an island. You need people. Surely have two pushes better, three pushes better. So your job is to sometimes you know, set other people up for success. Mm. And if that other person scores the goal, well, it does help you. It is good for you. You don't have to score the goal. In fact, the mm. more you try to score the goal, the more you'll disenfranchise your colleagues, maybe. Mm. And you'll be an island and you, mm. you will not survive. Mm. So when people start getting this, then you can actually say, but you know, you, you must get that blast today. And people don't read that as, 
I must get my tons today, they do read it as, um, I mean, that's when they start getting the, the picture. I do read it as, no, no, I must secure my future. I mm. must create my, my growth, my happiness, and that of my team, and we are one, and therefore we work together. Mm. And then I think, you know, it becomes a lot easier to, to push the, the machine, these big companies forward when they're aligned to those objectives. Mm. 